Hello everyone, my name is Wale Farah. I'm a tech entrepreneur and welcome to another episode of Tech Roundup, your weekly opinion views and analysis of the top tech events happening around the world with a focus on Nigeria. On Tech Roundup today, we will look at how artificial intelligence is deepening the impact of technology on everyday solutions. We we'll speak with an AI expert in Nigeria to understand what Nigerian market is doing to explore AI. And we we'll close the episode with, with the announcement that Visa has reached a strategic deal with fintech leader in Nigeria, InterSwitch. Let's get started. If you follow tech and follow tech roundup, chances are very high that you've read about artificial intelligence and its application in software development. But to reiterate, artificial intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs, and perform human-like tasks. So, may are examples that you hear about these days, from chess playing computers to self-driving cars, rely heavily on deep learning and natural language processing. Using these technologies, computers can be trained to accomplish specific tasks, processing large amounts of data and recognizing patterns. Every industry has a high demand for AI capabilities, especially question answering systems that can be used for legal assistance, patent search, risk notification, and medical research. Some examples of AI applications that we're familiar with would include personal voice assistance like Siri and Alexa, self driving and predictive capabilities in automobile like the Tesla, and content recommendation on Netflix. AI works by combining large amount of data with fast, iterative processing and intelligent algorithm, allowing the software to learn automatically, automatically from patterns of features in the data. AI is a broad field of study that includes many theories, methods and technology, as well as following major subfields including machine learning, neural networks, deep learning, cognitive computing and natural language processing. I recently sat down with Emeka Okoye, an AI expert in Lagos, to discuss its application or otherwise in the Nigerian market. Here is part of that interview. So, so you, you, you gracefully transition into um, you know, data blocks, data mining, and leading into creating artificial intelligence and application around yes. it. And you, you also mentioned, we're all talking about it, there's a lot of hype about artificial intelligence, how it's coming to take all our jobs. I, I know you've said that, that's, that's nonsense. Uh, but the audience out there is wondering, you know, this, this phrase that I hear every day, mm. what is it? You know, what's, how is it applicable to my life? And in the context of the Nigerian market, are there opportunities for artificial intelligence, intelligence applications to actually help us solve some, I mean, you, you referred to it at the beginning, where challenge-driven economy. Are there opportunities for artificial intelligence solutions to help us fix some of the problems that we face here in Nigeria? So the whole idea of artificial intelligence is for machines. So when we use the word machines, we actually also mean computers, computer. software bots, and algorithms and so on. So it's for machines to mimic human intelligence. Mimic human intelligence. So do they what, get smarter than us over time? No, they shouldn't. You know, because they are mimicking you. You understand? They might they are good in certain things, but they are very poor in certain areas like judgment and you know. And all that emotional but, passion and, uh, exactly <laughs> so those those discussions to me are just more distraction we should rather focus on the usefulness of AI okay so if we can understand it that way then we can just take it that if they could mimic us then they could do some routine or mundane things that we do so that we can move on to ordinary things now one of the biggest things whether it's going to take our job, it's going to take some of our jobs. And the reasons are simple. I'll give you an instance. Um, one of the challenges that we have, again, is that education has been poor in this country. So a lot of people are not well-educated, so they don't have many skills. 
machines are good at things that uh, you don't require a lot of skills. Um, I'll give you a project that I was involved. So this big office wanted to employ robotic cleaners. So presently they had the um, Robotic cleaners meaning robots, robots that, that would clean, clean manual yes. cleaning. Yeah, manual okay. cleaning of the floors. You can catch the full episode of that interview on Tech Roundup Talk on November 18 when we release the full episode. And to our last story this week, InterSwitch, a leading technology-driven company focused on digitization of payments in Nigeria and other countries in Africa, and Visa, the world leader in digital payments, recently announced a strategic partnership that will further advance digital payment ecosystem across Africa. Uh, InterSwitch says it processes or it processed about 500 million transactions in May of 2019. As part of this agreement, Visa will acquire a significant minority equity stake in InterSwitch. We're hearing about 20% at a $1 billion valuation, which makes InterSwitch one of the most valuable African fintech businesses. Visa joins other well-known global investors such as Helios and the IFC as shareholders in InterSwitch. The core market here in Nigeria has, has, has a rapidly growing electronic payment market. Uh, point of sales and ATM transaction per adult grew at a cumulative rate of about 94% and 59% from 2013 to 2018 respectively. However, there are only 11 card transactions per adult per annum in 2018 compared to 92 in markets like South Africa, 126 in Brazil, and 465 in the UK. But despite this market under penetration, POS card transactions in Nigeria are expected to grow at a cumulative rate of about 63% between 2018 and 2023. Let's recall, InterSwitch also owns Verve, a domestic debit card scheme in Nigeria with footprints already in other African markets. Here's what I think about this partnership and how it may impact the Africa digital payment landscape. One, this is further confirmation of potential growth and the potential size of digital, digital payments space in Nigeria and the rest of Africa. Two, the visa verb combination could result into a dominant global slash domestic card scheme for Africa. And three, InterSwitch may provide an alternative platform outside of CAD for Visa to deploy its existing and new solutions to existing and new InterSwitch customers across Africa. We congratulate the InterSwitch team and wish them much luck into the future. A special announcement this week, uh, a, a job posting. Uh, so NetPlus is announcing uh, an opening for a business and sales development manager. So if you have uh, the, the skills and the requisite knowledge in digital payment or you know anyone that does, uh, please reach out to me uh, directly on LinkedIn uh, to get more information on the project. Please keep your comments and feedback coming on LinkedIn at Wally Farrell and remember to subscribe to the Tech Roundup YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please look at the bottom of your screen for all our social media handles. Please follow, like, share, and join the ever interesting conversation. Have a great weekend, guys, and see you all again next week. Mokwala Lafia.